Hey Five Nine guys, hey Zink here. I'm joined by the one, the only, Lethal Two Up. Lethal, how are you doing, my man? My man said Lethal Two Up. Lethal One Up is here. What's up, everybody? And I'm excited, dude. This, this is. I'm not gonna spoil it. Go ahead, man. You get into it. But I'm excited for what we're gonna talk about. Go ahead. Mate, you're that good. You're <laughs> that. You're that good. I decided to give you an extra life, mate. That's, that's why I called you Lethal Two Up. I mean, you're not. You're not wrong. Go yeah, ahead. I know. I'm not wrong. Lethal Infinite. Lethal Infinite. That's what we'll start calling him. He's got God, mono, God mode turned on this man. So anyway, me and Lethal <laughs> are back to discuss something that we have actually touched on before. Um, if you mm -hmm. are yeah. new to the channel, you might not know, but myself and Clerk originally did a video about movies and games. And more recently, myself and Lethal done a video about upcoming movies and games and what we kind of hope to see, stuff like that. Um, and this is the first of those games that are getting turned into movies so do you remember we were talking about it back then what we thought about mortal kombat and how it was going yep. to be the first to drop and we were excited to do it lethal that time has come so let's it jump to this <laughs> let's jump to the start of this trailer what i'm going to do oh, is i'm going to let a bit of play and we'll pause we'll talk about it and we'll see what we've noticed because obviously we've had a sneaky peek at this trailer already um yes, but sir. for the benefit of you guys and it is the r-rated version guys so shh, don't tell your mums and dads we'll let this, oh man we'll let this start playing <laughs> No. Oh man. First learned about this seven years ago on a mission in Brazil. This looks so good. It does look good. Fugitive. It looks good to me. When we got there, it tore through our unit in seconds. All right there. Straight off oh, the bat. Right straight there, off right the off bat. The, what is man, that? Straight what off was the that? Bat, man. Hey, Zay, what, what was that right there, man? What is what did Sub Zero just do? Jax's origin story, man. Straight away. He has no uh, arms, ladies and oh gentlemen. My. That is him. He is going all winter soldier from now on out, man, with a metallic <laughs> arms. Let's go, boys. <laughs> One thing I noticed there straight away, and obviously with this being a restricted trailer, there was always an indication it was going to be the case. This is going to be mm. an R-rated, hard R good, great movie. You down? You don't, oh Lethal. Thank, thank God. Yeah, thank right. God. That's how you do Mortal Kombat. Oh, oh, I want to yeah. see gore. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know that sounds oh, yeah. kind of weird, but like, dude, that's what Mortal Kombat is, right? And so, oh, yeah. right off the back, that's how they started the trailer with. Yeah, dude. Well, that let's get me excited. Let's do so, a little yeah. bit more. And I, I've got a little theory that I'm going to throw out throughout this video. And Lethal, you can tell me if you agree. I've, I've give you a hint of what it is, and I'll want the guys at home once I drop this theory to let me know what you think, right? So let's go another 15 minutes because I don't want us to get claimed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we got to be picking two spots. Right. Pay attention to this dude. Boom. Yeah. What do you mean? Do you see that? It's not a birthmark call. It's not a birthmark call. You know what I think that is? I think that's a clan symbol. I think okay. that is a clan symbol. And I'll get into that a little bit later, but I have a theory about this guy. We don't know who he is yet. He's obviously not the mighty Johnny Cage. I mean, why Jean-Claude Van Damme has not been tapped up to be Johnny Cage in this movie? That's, movie? I, I do not that's know. That's what I was looking for. I was yeah. like, yo, what does this mean? Yeah, but that, that little symbol, I, yeah. think, I think that's a clan symbol, and I'll, I'll get into my theory as we go. Yeah, we'll touch upon this in a little bit. Yes. You see the yellow there as well on his gloves? Yeah, I've noticed that too. A great tournament. It's gonna all go back to Hazing's theory. Oh yeah, boy. <laughs> oh man. I mean, it, it, it's it's been out there. We we've seen. I, I looked a little bit into what people have commenting, been saying, and it, it kind of goes a little bit with Hazing. It's gonna kind of drop with us here in a second. Oh what? I thought I'd come up with an original idea. I mean, you're up there. I mean, the trailer literally just right. came out like minutes ago. So. This here, obviously, we can see. I'm not really good with the clans, guys. Sub Zero's one clan. Scorpions yeah. another clan, the rival clans. For the sake of this video, I'm going to call them the Long Fu clan. I don't even know what the hell they're called, uh, right? I, was, I don't know technical names, but I, yeah, you exactly said there, there's there's there are opposing clans, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And obviously, you can look here. There's a few giveaways in this video. One, if you look at it, the color palette's a little bit different from the rest of the movie. It's a bit faded compared to the other scenes, which means, mm -hmm. leads me to believe this is a flashback or flashback. A or a, or, yep, or, a, makes sense. or a memory, right? So we'll keep going. But clearly this is someone who either is a scorpion, the scorpion, whatever. Mortal Kombat. Look at that go though. These are your champions. I'm Sonya. That's Kano. So glad they brought in this storyline. They it, it, it would it feel right without having uh Kano and um Sonya Blade. Of Earth is in our hands. 
One thing again, I know I'm pausing the video, guys, but I've got to do it to make sure Warner Brothers don't give us any trouble for using this trailer. <laughs> One thing I'm going to say straight off the bat, it would be, it's really easy to go cheesy. Really easy to go cheesy. When Mortal Kombat, you mean just, just the characters, the, the fancy costumes, mm -hmm. the get up. This doesn't seem to be cheesy. Just, just, I know we're only seeing a trailer, but mm. I mean, Kung Lao, uh, he looked a little bit cheesy, but then when he actually was in motion and he was using his hat to deflect the blade and stuff, the mm -hmm. beam, he didn't look cheesy, you know? So, hmm. Also, traditionally, Kane was a bad guy. Kane was going, right. to, tu Kane was going to turn on this lot. It's pretty obvious it's going to happen. I'm, I'm excited to see that part though with Sonya playing Kano for sure. Oh yeah. No matter how many of my people you put in the ground. Right, so this is obviously the tournament. So short of a moment there with Molina. Oh yeah. See that little bit of Goro? Little bit of Goro action coming I'm in there. I'm so glad. I'm so glad they brought in Goro too, man. I I'm excited. Uh, well, again, we're going to touch more upon this, right? So he's just kind of, he's just going through little snippets here to kind of be like, yo, did you see that part? Did you catch that part? Yeah. Because yeah. clearly there's more to go through, even right here too, right? I'm going through the motions here, boys. I'm going through the motions. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, see a difference in color palette again now? Yeah. Probably my most anticipated moment right here throughout the entire movie, at least so far. See him freezing his blood there and using it as a, a knife right in his back. And gamers would know, uh, or at least the Mortal right. Kombat fans would know how similar that is. So obviously, there's a wee bit more to go. There's a little after credit scene, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But I, I did not know there's theories out there, okay? I actually looked straight in the camera. I've not read anything about this movie, hands down. This is just my observations mm -hmm. from the trailer. I think what we're seeing there is a fight of old between Sub-Zero and another version of Scorpion. I think Scorpion's going to die in that fight, but I don't think that is the Scorpion that we are going to get to know in this movie. I think that's going to be that young guy you've seen at the start putting on the mm -hmm. yellow the yellow hand things or whatever. And I think this is going to be like an origin story. Well, it's going to be an origin story for the Mortal Kombat tournament, but it's obviously going to focus on Scorpion, which in itself cool. is kind of weird because... I'd say historically, Mortal Kombat fans, please come at me if I'm wrong here. Scorpion <laughs> was always seen more of the bad guy. Scorpion, uh, Sub-Zero mm -hmm. was more of the good guy. You know what I mean? That's the dynamic yeah. I always got from it. Where, do you know what I mean? One was a bit mm -hmm. bad, one was a bit good. And do you know what I mean? It always took, kind of took the it's, role that... It's, it's clear hazing that I think they're going with a different storyline. And that's the one thing I can tell you right now that I saw the movie already trailer get flamed for. People are like, what is going on? Like, this doesn't make any sense. Why is Luke Kang right there on the side? And I think it's a good indication, like, what you're seeing right here is that, yeah, it's, it is going to focus on this new character named Cole, right? But it, nobody knows exactly what, who Cole will be. I mean, we did see him do some, like, I think it was, like, some cage fighting in the beginning. Yep. I don't know. Maybe he's maybe he'll be Johnny Cage. Who knows? But well, I think well, what hazing... <laughs> I think... I, I actually think... You have just spotted something. I'm going to go back in a second, uh -huh. but yeah. hang on to what you just said there, right? Go ahead, go I'm, for I'm, it. I'm going to go back and I want you to pay attention, right? But let us last wee bit finish. Yeah, yeah, sure. We can both finish here because we were just trying to show snippets of it before we start talking and talking. Oof. Fatality. Oof, Oof reptile. Oof, reptile. Man, we should have paused on that one. <laughs> Right, so let's go back. Oh, man. Okay, I need to find it. Right here, boom. No, no, no. There's a little bit that I've seen. It's a little bit up more. Funny you should have mentioned it, right? So I think it was just up here. Yeah, you can see, guys, I'm scrubbing here a little bit. <laughs> oh, was that, was that <laughs> Had a scrub. Was that it there? No, 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 no. Is there with the... The bit where Scorpion is standing and he goes on fire. Where was it? I need to find it. Look at me. Try to scrub through this trailer to try and find it. <laughs> right. I'll check when about here. It? Once I find it, I'll check when about here. We'll let this bit play again, right? I'm going to mute the sound here because we don't need the sound again here. You can just listen to me and Lethal chatting. I need to get ready to pause this when it comes up. I'm assuming it's run about here. But there's a part where you see Scorpion standing. And it's like he's came back from the fires of hell or whatever. There you go. There you go. Oh, Lethal. right there. Okay. He's in the cage for the cage fighting. Do you see it in the background? Oh, is that the same thing? It that, might be. That looks like the octagon cage arena type thing. 
Oh, so, do I even catch you, on that? And if you and if you look here, right? Look at look at these trousers, black trousers, red waistband, taped arms. Okay, I because that's human fingers. Okay, that's not mm -hmm. metallic fingers. So this isn't Jacks. Okay, I think that might be Johnny Cage. Oh, that could be. Oh, dude, I didn't even pick up on that. So that that makes sense. That makes sense then. Plus, you did you did also kind of catch on to. I, I mean, are we still gonna go ahead and say? Okay, I guess we're gonna go ahead and say that like we still think this is Cole, right? Cole is gonna be the next Scorpion, or, or well, they're gonna make his story go into that. I think this is one of two things that we're looking at just now. I think mm -hmm. this is Johnny Cage, or I think this right here is Cole, and this might be like the spirits of his past or something like that, and it's how he's going to take on the mantle of Scorpion because I think okay. it's going to have this. Because if you remember, right, Scorpion's a kind of demony type thing yeah. that comes yeah, yeah, back yeah. from the underworld so right. i've got a feeling it's going to be something along those lines anyway um but yeah i think this could be what what either seeing him yeah. becoming or oh, that's johnny well, or that's johnny cage it's one or the other so I think it's just a good indication to say that, hey, we think so far this movie will definitely now be a Liu Kang, at least primarily kind of story. They're already, they're Scorpion. obviously going to go Scorp ahead and they're have, they already have Sonya Blade talking about Kano. Yeah. And that's probably good. They're probably still going to have those side stories within the actual movie. Yeah. But I think it's like you said, I think there's a good chance that this is focus will not be on Liu Kang. And it's probably going to be, it looks like they reference a lot of Sub-Zero and Scorpion. So yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's a good indication that like, those two characters are probably might play a pivotal, more of a pivotal role yep. between everybody else, which Definitely. is pretty cool. Definitely. Obviously, the tournament's going to have a big factor because, like, if, right, you, right. if you go on later in the later in the trailer, I'll just let it play without sound now, so we can talk away, and I'll pause at the bits that are significant. Um, but you can see there that that in the background there is clearly the tournament. You know what I mean? There's mm. there's everything we're looking for um, to come ahead. Like, definitely, that's 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 right in the middle of the tournament. You've still got. The other world wanting to come through. Right. It looks like they want to take over Earth, so it's probably still going to follow that more traditional. That there looked like a finisher, um, like because I didn't notice at first. I thought he was kind of summoning that dragon to himself. But if you look down there, mm. going, going with the arms, that could maybe be Baraka or something like that. But I kind of, I was thinking we zoom in. I can't tell can't, who that is, but we can't. That we, could be. We, we can't zoom in, but I can't think of who's got metallic bits coming out of their arms so mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's it's potentially that's who that is but that is definitely a a finish him moment this is a, a finisher i think we're seeing yeah. here fatality um, yeah i'll say fatality have definitely been shown throughout the trailer you've definitely seen something and again here who's this character you're looking here you've got in fact is hang that on that? that's is whoever that no that's who no, that's no, no no that is whoever was in the cage look black trousers Red waistband like I seen earlier in the trailer. I remember when I paused it and he was standing in the cage? Yeah. Who is this then? That's a good point. Who is this because guy? Because they've been mentioned so far. A lot of outlets already have been reporting. It's Sonya, Kano, Raiden, uh, Jax, Liu Kang, Shang Tsung, Kung Lao, Super Zero, and Scorpion. So yeah, that's... From what people have been... What other outlets have been able to identify in terms of characters? Yeah, who's that? Who that? That's, either That's a, a good question. I, I, I would say it's a fodder character. However, he does mm. appear earlier in the movie, as you can clearly see. Unless, unless they've got red shirts like Star, like Star Trek, where they just <laughs> wheel out random people with black bottoms with a red waistband to get killed off other know. characters. That could be, that could be the case too. I, I, I mean, it could, but he's definitely someone. Going with his hairstyle and that, I don't think... It's the the guy we've seen for the start of the film, but I could hmm. be I could be wrong there. So, hey Zink, if you can try to find it, there is some controversy right now in regards to Melina's character. Yep. So if you're able to find that part, there's a lot of people who are talking about more of her like appearance, and they're not happy that they're showing her face, they're showing her mouth, but they're not happy with her mouth. They're not happy with the design and the, the choice that they made for the teeth. Is that the so let's say if you can, I think it was just it's, it's right. just right before yeah. that, right? Like in the, like right before that. I think it was like right after the uh, desert scene. No, I think it was just before because she was licking. At, She's licking the the sigh. I think it is. Yeah, it might be run a bit just after this. Some yeah, it might be. See, it's somewhere there. There we go. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Good job, Hazing. <laughs> so people are not happy. People are not happy with the design choice. So. I again I, I'm never I'm not one to be like, man, I want this to look just like the original or whatever the case may be. I, I'm I'm always for like, you know, adaptations to do their own thing and try to make a twist on it because I always enjoy a different story. And so like Hazing, what do you think about that? I mean, I don't know. 
What do you, do you, you dig in her uh, her mouth? <laughs> I'm attacking her attack mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What about her design? Doesn't How do you feel? Doesn't bother me at all. Not not in the slightest. Um, it looks yeah. absolutely fine to me. And plus, for all yeah. we know, it could evolve later in the movie. You know, it could be right. um, she could get more of a demonic side that comes out or whatever. I, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how they're going to do a take on this. Do you know what I mean? Um, right. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm absolutely fine with it. I like the fact that the characters are being represented and it, again the, the thing that i'm taking away from this more than anything else is it doesn't look cheesy yeah i don't that's what i like about it too so i mean i totally agree so i think that's a good point to bring up too is we don't know how this movie's gonna go for all i know maybe they're introducing you right this new characters for him to don the mantle of something bigger right mm -hmm. so like there's a good chance of, this is like an origin story for a lot of things going on who knows i mean there was you know there was also what two mortal Kombat movies or were there three i don't even recall two of the original ones back in the day 1990s I think there was I've two, this, right? I, I've got this vague recollection of a Mortal Kombat TV show. I don't know where I'm getting it from, but I, I vaguely remember some other crap. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The only right. one, well, the only one I actually liked was the original one with Christopher Lambert yeah. as Raiden. Um, right. I, I like that. I like the. Utah Saints done that. Mortal Kombat. Do, do, yeah. do, 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 I was do, waiting do, for do, the. Do, do, was do, anybody do, else waiting for the soundtrack? Like everybody watching the video, you guys let us know. I at some point was honestly waiting for the soundtrack to pop in. Maybe they'll save it for the movie. I hope they do because you, you gotta kind of pay that homage there. And oh yeah. I was waiting for that track and I was like, oh, we didn't get the track, the iconic, that iconic track because you know obviously that's how people identify Mortal Kombat movies, right? So yeah. I mean, hundred percent. I hope we see that. But cool. Look, I think they showed a lot of these other characters too, like Reptile. Is well, that, speaking of, there's reptile, smoke? there's reptile appearing there. Like, oh, it, right there? Okay. It, it, it looks like he's coming out of like camouflage mode. And if you go back, just if, if I could do this frame by frame, it'd be easier. But you can see his claws coming in when he's okay, falling, yeah. when he's if falling he down there. Um, yeah, Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung, that's right. Yeah. Um, but we they didn't really show too much of like the other characters, so it's hard to kind of talk about them. But at least we know Shang Tsung is there. Well, you see a bit of you see a bit of Raiden too. Let's let's be honest. Or Raiden. I keep saying Raiden. It's Raiden. Let's be honest. How much do they spoil movies these days in trailers? So I'm actually mm, I'm yeah, actually true. I'm actually down for that. People are probably yeah, thinking, yeah true. People are probably thinking here they're showing one of the most iconic fights in the film. But I don't. I, I, my my personal feeling is it's not going to be that. It's going to be what I've suggested, which is. I think this is like a precursor. This is like a vision of something that happened in the past. And I think that guy for the start of the movie is going to take on the mantle of, of Scorpion. That's all I can really go with. Yeah, I mean, it, this looks exciting, dude. I'm excited. The best part about it... Oh, maybe come, pause back on Reptile. That was the other big one. Just one more big thing. I don't know. I, I'd say again, like, I don't know too much of Reptile. Of, I know Reptile when he's in tight when he's inside the garment. Oh, oh that, this... that I need to get back a bit because that pause shot looks awful. That looks like a guy in a, a rubber this, suit. This uh this take on Reptile, but I mean it could be a yeah. his tra people have been saying it's his transform state or something like that. I don't know exactly. Hey Z, your thoughts about this if this is Reptile? It, it will probably be Reptile, yeah. I mean or else yeah. it could it, I mean it could just be like a demon of the other world or something like that. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's true. It, there's different like obviously appearances that you can kind of get from from what you've seen even in the past too, what they could have done yep. for the movie. So but for me personally, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I, I mean, just this. It's, it's a. It, it's a uh, I don't know about that one, but that still shot doesn't do it justice. Let's just say that. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true too. <laughs> and 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 um, and the Kano with the heart thing. K cool. K Kano ripped out his heart. So yeah, guys, this is coming to cinemas and HBO Max. I believe is it is it in two months or something like that? It's pretty soon, isn't it? Uh, it says April sixteenth. So oh, yeah, two go. about two. Is it? Yeah, a uh, little. Yeah, basically two months. Two months. Two months. Two months yeah. Ago. So. Obviously, Warner Brothers and HBO Max are knocking it out of the park because these other two films that you can see here are also are also coming to HBO Max. So definitely one to watch out for. So I think myself and Lethal, as long as no one tries to get in the road and tell us we can't do it, we might try and get together and watch this film uh, at around about the same mm. time and see if we can do a little review of it. Because, um, I mean, there's no reason we both can't see it the day it comes out. So I think yeah. we should try and get a chance to watch this right away, Lethal, and come back mm. and speak to the people if they drop any more trailers with any more tip bits any more bits and pieces of info that we can peel off of it we'll come back and we'll let you know but Lethal, sure are you hype dude i can't wait and i think for me personally i'm excited because this is seems like it might be more of like an original story something a little bit different and again it might not be original original maybe they'll take ties from the different adaptations that they've had over the years but i don't care dude it's just something different in regards to what i've seen so far and uh from the past movie so i'm about it and like i said to you hazy the biggest thing for me more blood nice gory blood action i know that sounds weird but that's 
already a big one for me. Yeah, um, just the way they start that trailer with Jax's arms, dude. Come I, on, I'm I, excited. I, I am totally down for that. So, guys, that's it. That's a quick breakdown of the Mortal Kombat trailer. What we think about it. We have done this video mainly because myself and Lethal are the core console guys, and let's talk about gaming when we talk about movies. So we stole this one. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed the video guys we will be back with more in the future make sure you check out the console content here on 5.9 Gaming and all of our content we'll catch you later guys bye peace